this time for real, um, I, I, I'm a bit speechless. We're playing Pyramid Head. We actually are playing Pyramid Head from the Silent Hill games on Dead by Daylight on the PTV. If you told me this like a week ago, I, I would have told you to fuck off. No way. There, some kind of, some kind of like practical joke because we all know Konami doesn't have a very good history of sharing IPs very kindly, but they've done it somehow. I don't know how they've done it, but they've done it somehow. We're going to be looking at the new map, the new killer itself, some of the abilities from his new perks, uh, what his power does, and every everything else. Uh, sir, thank you for the gifted subs. Everybody else, thank you for joining us. I will be muting notifications, as I said, uh, to keep this a bit more tidy. Um, but thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, Jesus, man. Oof. So this seems to be a hybrid of like indoors and outdoors map. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Well. <laughs> this is the new killer. The executioner. This is a normal attack. And we'll try to do a lunge. That's pretty sick. All right. Uh, his power is actually quite complex, but from what we could tell, um, he does have very, very standard values. He is a 32 meter terror radius killer, tall like the trapper, like the average, and we don't know if his terror is particularly different. Hey guys, it's okay, I'm coming. We'll see what it's what it looks like to hit survivors. As you can see, his power has uh, uh, many, many steps to it, and we'll take it easy. Let's hit a few survivors, and we'll talk about the power in a second. Oh, Jesus Lord, okay. Hello. <laughs> hey, who are you summoning? I... I like... I like this. Alright. Okay, this is good. So, the power. Uh, Rights of Judgment. You hold them too, to activate it. And anytime you move after doing this, you're leaving a trail on the ground, as you can see that will curse survivors. It's a bit like the hag, where if they crouch, nothing bad happens, but if they do not, it does activate. If they walk or run, just like the hag, it will trigger it. Go ahead. Once they are afflicted by this, they become cursed. I believe the correct word is, let's have a look. Uh, they become... Um, Tormented. There you go. And what can happen when a survivor is tormented? Well, when they're on the dead, uh, on the dying state, you don't have to put them on the hook. You can press left control to just straight up make like a new hook device. That works just like a hook. Uh, right? Oh god, what is he? Oh god, what did I set him? Oh! Oh, he appears randomly throughout the map! Oh shit! Okay, I didn't know that. Uh, we didn't know that from the testing. I thought he would be on the spot. <laughs> I'm like, Jesus! Oh. Oh. Alright. They can rescue him, just like, um, just like from a hook. But it's much quicker than putting him on a hook, obviously. Uh, but there's more to this power. Oh god. What is that? Jesus. Right, let's use our power again, leave another trail. As we go. Movement speed seems kinda normal, but wow, dude, that's nutty. You need to leave some kind of space, it seems, for it to activate. Ah, wow. So you will be corralling people to afflict them with this to speed up the sacrificial progress. But there is another trick to this, which is he has a an M2 ability when he's holding rights of judgment, which is a range attack. Let's test it. Holy shit, it's like a Dr. Shock that damages. So, let's see if it can down people. I'm gonna hit Dwight. I have a feeling it does, but we'll see. Oh my god. And as you can see, uh, uh, that, that does fuck them over moderately. Holy shit. Holy shit. Okay. That's, that's a bit nutty. Uh, wow. So, just for the... I'm gonna... I'm gonna try to... Can I walk over him? I'll try. I want to get them all, uh... Yeah, hold up. 
Uh, there's a very interesting interaction with his power. We're not gonna moor him yet. We're gonna put him in a cage of atonement. And we're gonna go find him. Jesus. This is this is like the equivalent of having him on the second stage of the hook already. Let's break this. Right? So what can happen if he's out of the struggling, by the way? Oh, look at that. You guys want to save him? Save him. Save him. Save him. Save him. You do not need to hook him a third time if he gets saved. Uh, Dwight, come with us. Hold up. Let's make sure he's cursed. It seems like you you no longer get uh, tormented. Uh, I need I need a minute. Yeah. I'm gonna down him one more time. And right now, I'm pretty sure we don't need to hook him anymore. We can actually do the final judgment, which you can do on anybody that's dead on hook or dead on cage, quote unquote. Let's see what final judgment looks like. Wait, hold up a second. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Um, I was afraid that we would be t too close in that corner, but it seems like that wasn't good enough. Uh, we'll have to try that again then. Uh, luckily, we have many test subjects to let us know what that looks like. This is not a Mori, by the way. Right? Can they untermine themselves? It doesn't seem like they can, huh? Alright, so we're gonna put him... We're actually gonna put him on the hook. It, uh, one thing you notice, by the way, that putting someone in a cage of torment counts as hooking them. So for Mois, uh, it seems like you can do that. Alright, we put him there. Uh, Mishi, if you're so kind, unhook this mat lad. I'll also be testing this. Right, Mishi, I'm gonna put you on the hook so that you can both be moored, and I'll let him rescue you, alright? Hang in there, homie. And you, Dwight. I'm gonna let you struggle out and rescue him. Then we'll try to kill one of them with the final judgment and see what it looks like. And kill the other one with the normal Mori and see if there's a difference or what. Because that final judgment looked really quickly. Alright, we let him go. Very good. Right, on the ground you go. We put him on the hook again. Wait, do we have the final judgment already? Did I see that right? No, we only have the cage of atonement. Alright, fuck it, let's set him on a cage. He had sent over the other side of the map. There he is. Yeah, I miss you, let's go find him. I like this chase music, by the way. Alright. Jesus, this map. Right, get him out. Thank you. Now I'm gonna need you both to please be tormented. And let's go walk outside and see what both of these animations look like. Uh, oh, let's take a little shortcut, shall we? Oh, oh, these are the exit gates, wow. Right. Well, Dwight? You'll be the first one, homie. Oops. Right, so this man can be killed by the final judgment. Uh, Mishi, give us some personal space, will you? <laughs> Thank you. Let's do it. Oh! Jesus Christ, okay. Well, that was sort and sweet. Mishi, um, you want to go into a locker and see what it looks like when I pull you out? Go inside. You can cancel it very quickly, it seems. Oh, he went in this one? Oh, no blood. There you go. Alright. Let's see what his Mori looks like. Okay. That's pretty sweet! <laughs> I don't know what you guys think about that, but... Jesus! Alright, the other one is so quick, too! Yeah, what? That's... that's ridiculous. Wow, okay. 
we'll go over the add-ons and then we're gonna see the perks in action. If you guys are kind enough to just wait a minute. Jesus, we'll do that. Looks like we lost these friends. Let's do it. Oh, thank you guys. Right, let's go over the add-ons to understand what his power uh, can really do. We'll start with the brown ones. Uh, the Lab Ring slightly increases the duration of Rites of Judgment trials remain in the environment. So it makes the area you step on be uh, inflict meant for longer. Gives a duration. We don't know how long it lasts by default, unfortunately. Slightly increases the recharge rate of Rites of Judgment. Oh, I never even realized there was a um, recharge rate for it. But it makes sense. It's a powerful ability, right? The Copper Ring. It slightly increases the total amount of time that Rites of Judgment can be performed. Oh, so it's a bit like Spirit. You can do it for a, for a, sh for a short period of time. Cool. Slightly increases the reach of punishment of the damned. Oh, okay. So this gives you... This is like a doctor-like increase of range. The Wax Doll. Moderately increases the reach of punishment of them. So it's the same thing, but probably greater. Slightly increases the total amount of time that Wretched... So this is the same thing, but um, goes for a bit longer. Uh, Leopard Print Fabric. I should have print fabric. Slightly increases the duration of Killer Instinct when triggered by the Rites of Judgment. Alright. So similar to Demogorgon a bit. Or even, um, actually similar to Ghostface Detection. Model increases the recharge rate of Rites of Judgment. That, that, that has to be good. Model increases the duration of Rites of Judgment trials. Trials when remaining in the environment. Okay, nothing new. Valtiel Sect Photograph. Considerably increases the recharge rate. Considerably increases the total amount of time. So far it's just gradual increases. Meryl increases the duration of Killer Instinct. Gradual increases, same same idea. Mannequin Foot. Considerably increases the duration of Rites of Judgment. Wow, we just have like four add-ons. Copied. This one has to be different. Oh, it's another range extension. Alright, pretty simple add-ons then. Burning Man Painting. The range must be pretty damn good. Imagine hitting people unhooking. Oh, dude. The Scarlet Egg. Considerably increases the duration of Killer Instinct when triggered by Rites of Judgment. Rust Color Egg. Ooh, that'll be difficult to tell apart. So I was affected by Rites of Judgment, suffer from the blindness status effect for 60 seconds. I'm gonna say this is probably not great, but it is easy to apply it. Lost Memories Book. Oblivious for 15 seconds, that looks better. Uh, so when they step on the... on your trail, basically, uh, they kind of hear your tail radius. And this is they can't see RS with any perks or items. Serve for hemorrhage status effect. Okay, I don't know what they were thinking with this. They, they keep giving hemorrhage, but... Uh, I mean, it is forever, which is nice. Um, but, like, yeah, that one's not so great. Let's have a look at the Ultra Rares. The execution against undetectable status effect when standing on Rites of Judgment Trail. Uh, I don't know how this can really do anything other than let you face camp someone a little bit. Yeah, you go to a, you go to a survivor on the hook, leave a trail, step on your own trail for two seconds, and they count an unhook in front of you. Because you can use your power. Hit them both at no BT. This could actually be really nasty, right? Uh, follow someone to a hook. Use your power. Stand on your power. Wait for the unhook. Hit them both. No BT. Guaranteed one down. Oh, maybe two if they were injured. Oh, wow. The iridescent seal of Metatron. Jesus. A talisman with an odd design inscribed on it. The entity influence seems to have altered it. When sending a survivor into a cage of a tournament, the artists of all survivors suffering from torment are revealed for six seconds. Torment, if we're not mistaken, is forever. You, you never get rid of it, if you are tormented. So you could lock gens in a way that you force them. That's not bad, actually. It's a bit like a barbecue and chili. It kind of is... Um, if this killer is not add-on dependent, this could be good. If he doesn't need the recharge uh, uh, add-on so far. Yeah, this killer reminds me of Ghostface in terms of add-ons. Very simple. Uh, some of them could be stronger. It will depend how good his um, base power is to know how much these add-ons are necessary. On Ghostface, for example, the recharge add-ons are really, really good and necessary. Uh, we've gone over the perks, um, but we can explain what they do here as well. Let's have a look at it. We have Force Penance, Trail of Torment, and Deathbound. So Force Penance is the first one. It, it is a rare perk. And, yep, it's 30 seconds. Mm, I don't know how I feel about this one. It seems alright. It does happen for a, a fair amount of times in a trial, where some survivor will try to take a hit for another. But... I've never really thought to take a perk for it. Uh, basically, if a survivor tries to take a hit for another, they become broken, cannot heal for the next 30 seconds. Usually, survivors start to heal... Um, you know, if they get chased, they, they, they just won't heal, so it's a bit strange. 
but that's fine. Uh, Trail of Torment is the second perk. Um, this one actually I think is quite fun. The numbers could be tweaked a bit, but basically after kicking a generator, you become undetectable for 15 seconds, which is really, really cool. Uh, the thing I don't like is that the survivors can see that the generator that you kicked uh, now turns yellow and they have a warning that you're undetectable. So that kind of sucks a bit. Uh, the cooldown is a bit hefty, but this one this one will be one of the more fun. This one, however, Deadbound, perhaps the strongest of all three perks. Uh, basically punishes survivors from healing far away from you. And it has no cooldown other than its use. So basically, after it's kind of like make your choice. After the use is gone, the perk becomes available again, it seems. It seems. It might be even less than that. We'll see. Uh, so when a survivor heals another survivor and they're far away from you, basically outside your terror radius, uh, what, the survivor will scream, letting you know that they just healed. Uh, you will see that they heal because of the HUD, but you usually don't know where if they're far away. Now you will know where. This, for killers like Oni, could be really big. Uh, you go there, you find a bunch of uh, blood. So you reveal their aura, and if they do not stay close to each other, if they walk from 8 meters... Wow, that's really little, actually. Jesus. Wow, so basically, unless they're doing a gen together, or like, you know, looping with friends, uh, one of them will become oblivious. The healer will become oblivious. So you hear them scream, uh, they separate, and the healer, if they separate, um, they, they, they cannot hear you coming. That's kind of cool. Just for the info, it's actually really, really cool. Could be strong on killers that, you know, um, uh, that can punish healing and compare it with nurses and other stuff. I don't know, I'm excited about this one, honestly. Uh, we will be trying all of these perks in in more detail and see what they look like with all kinds of killers. You guys want to see the perks in action? Should we? Should we do it? I think we'll we'll hop onto a game and maybe play a play a normal match and see what it's like. But anybody that just came to get news on the new killer, I appreciate you all. Thanks so much. I hope you're excited as I am. We'll be making content for this very very soon. <laughs> all right, dude. I'm I'm so so excited.